Okay, this is a Google SketchUp Make Demo for SketchUp 2014. I use the icon, double click to start it. Right, for any new startup, normally you have to change the template. For this case, at the start, normally it will be simple template, click and images. So what we need to do for DNT, we we'll click move down to good looking. Now, you take note. We are using SI unit so it's all in millimeters. Then you double click on using SketchUp and start. Alright. This will be the basic setup for the toolbar itself. To have more of the icons, what we do is we go to view. Alright, toolbars. And we look at it. There is a thing called the getting started will be the basic. There's another one called large tool search. We will we should open up the one on the left hand side or the icons. Going down, right. We also need the views toolbar, which will show you the front, right, back, left, as well as the top, and also the isometric view. Then we also need the style so that we can have X-ray or the web images. Or no color or hidden lines only, uh, shaded, uh, shaded with texture and monochrome. Okay, after I selected that, then we close. Okay, the basic layout for the drawing area will be like that red axis, blue axis, green axis. Okay, so to uh, for a start, we'll try the rectangle tool, right clicking on the rectangle tool. When you go to close to origin, the center itself, you realize that you will snap to the origin. Right, click on it. Right, click on the origin, and when you pull, you realize that the dimension at the right hand corner changes. Right, what we want, we actually want the uh, 100 by 50 mm rectangle. Right, it's a bit small, so what we can do, we can use the zoom extend function to zoom into the area that we wanted okay you next step alternatively we can use the zoom function pulling down pushing up or the roller mouse to zoom in and out right, the next function that I want to introduce is actually the push and pull function right when you move onto the surface it changes to shaded what you do you click on it and when you pull it up you realize that the dimension changes and when you type 10, you can create a thickness of 10 mm. Right, you will need to use the dimension tool to know whether are you correct. Clicking on the dimension tool on the left hand side. Right, moving on to the edge, you see it changes to a blue color. Then when you pull up, you see a 100 mm. Similarly, on the other side, it changes blue, pull up 50 mm, like what we have typed here. Now, if the thing is too small to go to the edge, what we can do, we can go to the end point. Click on it and then another endpoint at the other end. Click on it and you realize that 10 mm appears. Now 10 mm is a bit cram over here. So what you can do is you right click on it. Text position could be outside to start or outside the end. Right, depending which one will provide the most optimum view of the object. Right, you can zoom out. You can use the pen tool to move it around. Alright. Then you can also use the orbit tool. Orbit tool basically changes the view that you are viewing. It can be below, it can be on top. And if you click on the isometric view, you go straight to isometric view. Okay. Orbit can also be activated by pressing on the roller button. You press on it, and you can orbit it over this. Okay. So that's the basic introduction for Google. Uh, SketchUp Pick 2014. Uh, very simple. If you want to save, you just save as and this function save. Alright, that's all for the moment for the basic function.